hair was so dirty. Like it was so dirty. This is way overdue. <laughs> I just put all that water in my face. I just mopped the floor last night and now I feel like I'm ruining the floor again, but it's fine. Conditioner down here too. People forget about like the rest of their lock. You think about the scalp, right? But don't forget about the rest of your hair. Like look at this one. Like this one, I could probably cut right here. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this one and then have her reattach it somewhere else in my head. That's what I'll do. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this one off, because look at that. Like it's hanging on by a thread. So I'm gonna cut this one and then have her like create another lock somewhere. Using my hair, so it's like, using your hair as weave. <laughs> like take the bottom, this little end lock and put it somewhere else. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I have another one on my counter. I just save them. Either I cut them off or if it looks like it's about to fall, I cut it off and I save it and have her reattach it somewhere else that might be a little spotty or needs a lock. So I'm gonna let this conditioner, well, where's that lock? I'm gonna put it right there. But I'm gonna let, <clears throat> let this conditioner sit on my head. I wish I had a shower cap, but I don't have a shower cap. Hopefully I did a good job, cause I can't see, so I don't know what I'm doing, but hopefully it looks okay. All right, so I'm gonna wash this out. It's so like minty, I guess it's the, ginseng and the nettle it feels like tingly on my it feels has like a tingle feeling on my scalp feels good i just can't believe like so i used to use this other shampoo and this other i'll tell y'all in a minute because the tv's on and you can't hear me i'll tell y'all I will say, I'm sorry, I don't know how my underarms look. They're probably not shaved and they probably look crazy. Oops, because I have a condition under my arms where it gets dark and I get boils and stuff. So I apologize if my underarms looks a little crazy. I apologize. But we are all done washing our hair. We are here in front of the mirror. This is where I sit to do my hair. Hopefully it's in frame. I'm sitting, okay, I'm sitting in front of the mirror, so trying to make sure that you guys can see, but my hair is all wrapped up. Let me grab the scissors, hold on. And this is my hair washing shirt. It's a little shirt. I used to exercise in it, but now I just really wash my hair in it because it's thin and I always get all wet up washing my own hair, so I have this little tank top on and every time i wash my hair because i live in my little quaint studio um i always turn the air conditioner off because it's super small in here and i feel like it gets cold faster and so i always turn off the air conditioner because i just feel like you know old people say you're gonna get sick if you have all that air on and your your hair you know something's wet or you get cold or whatever so i turn it off now for this little lock right here hopefully you guys can see but yeah you see how it's hanging on by a thread i'm gonna go ahead and cut it so that this part i'm gonna have her you see like how i have this one this is the newest one and i'm looking in the mirror so sorry but this one right here she was um, starting me a new log here because it has so much new growth. So maybe what I'll do is have her take this after I cut it and reattach it somewhere in here because I have so much new growth or somewhere, wherever she sees that is best. So we're just gonna take our scissors and it's just a thin 
piece of hair right there and I'm just gonna cut it. And there goes a brand new lock. This is my own hair and now I can take it and have her attach it somewhere else. So look at that. It's like weave, but like my own hair, like making weave with your own hair, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, so now I have my hair all nice and clean. I got all the product out, which is good. I kind of like to just go through and look and see if there's any more like that one that needs to be cut. Like you see this one, this is like a newer one. This is a newer one. So yeah, I have some baby ones that are growing or I probably could at some point and just never had her like make it longer, which is fine. Or like this one right here, I can see it needs to be, you can't see it. Well. If you look off to the side, it needs to be cleaned up just a little bit. So I'm going to attempt Ooh. to cut this little piece off. And not cut my hair. Yeah, okay, perfect. So it was just like a little ball of hair that was kind of sticking off the side that I cut. And look at my little, look at that little lock right there, <laughs> which is crazy. And yeah, excuse the exercise bike behind me or exercise equipment, it's not a bike, but that's behind me. Okay, so. I'll kind of go through, clean some of like this right here. It's like having, you know, what do you call it? Dead ends or whatever. So I can go ahead and cut that off and, you know, my hair can continue to grow. I don't do this all the time, but I'm going to do it today. Ooh. And just kind of look through to see what other ones. This one's pretty strong, I won't cut it. Sometimes I get a little scissor happy and I'm like, ooh, let's cut this and let's cut that. But like, look at the ends of these, like look at the ends. It's still interesting how like, look at those, like my hair pattern, it's like curly on the ends, you see that? Look at how curly they are. But I don't think there's, much more that looks damaged or anything. Nope. And I have some clothes that I'm gonna start getting rid of. And the thing is in the winter time, fuzzies on clothes, like I think I wore this shirt in another video, but like fuzzy clothes, I'm like, I can see where depending on the fabric, it causes, and if my hair is now, it causes friction on my hair. And then I start to see like, is that my sweater? Yep, because that sweater, I see it in a little piece of, it's like a brown sweater. I gotta figure out what material that is, but whatever that is, it picks up like all the lint. And sometimes at the end of the day, I'm like, there goes half of the sweater in my hair. So yeah, but okay, let's fix this. So I'm going to, use i showed this definitely in another video when i went home to south carolina um i went to a hair store here in new york and i could not find this this is the cream of nature argan oil from morocco or at least when i went there my loctician hadn't told me about it yet so i think i never looked here so i'm sure it's somewhere here in new york but when i went home we went to the hair store and it's actually a leave-in conditioner, but my loctician uses this on my hair every time I go. It was $6.99, I'm taking the price tag off. But every time I go, she uses it and it smells so good. And she was like, you need to use this. So she's an advocate for oiling your hair is like for shine, but she's like, it's not for moisturizing and it's not for hair growth. So she cautions me not to always just oil my hair that little lock doesn't want to lay down. Not to just always oil my hair and thinking I'm moisturizing it, but to actually use like a moisturizer. So 
this argan oil um, leave-in conditioner is what I'm gonna use. And it says shine, strength, strength and shine leave-in conditioner. So it's definitely what I need. Um, and I always need moisture. Even when I didn't have locks and I had straight hair, I always need moisture. And you see like my edges right here? I feel like my edges could be better and stronger. Like it's not there. And I know like, I feel like it runs in my family, honestly, with the women and even the men. I see it and so I'm gonna get some of that. My sister told me to get like the hair growth oil. I think that's what it's called. And she was like, put that on here because no shade to this other hair brand, but I used to use that product that everybody on social media said, oh, this made my hair grow, this made my hair grow. And in that bag over there where I showed you guys the conditioner, I actually had their conditioner and shampoo and now I'm gonna throw it away, waste my money because all the girls are saying that makes your hair fall out. So if you can read between the lines <laughs> and read on the lines, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I heard it's making the people's hair fall out and it's crazy because just like a year or so ago, I thought people were buying it because they said, oh, it makes your hair grow. So now, I don't know if it's because the brand was sold or what, but everybody's claiming that it's making their hair fall out or thin. And so I don't know, like I said, I did used to use the oil. I'm gonna throw that away actually, clean under the sink and throw it away. I don't know, and I'm not claiming that's what happened to my edges right there. Like I said, it does kind of run in my family. So now that I really see it like that, and usually when my hair isn't, um, when my hair isn't done per se and my edges aren't laid or whatever, I can see it more, but I do wanna get something so I can fill that in. So get some hair growth oil and I really need to do that. And my mama is an advocate for, you need to anoint your scalp, pray over it, anoint it, you know, send all the goodness towards it. Cause we live an abundant life and always, even in our hair, come on. And so I am going to, um, just really massage it and um just be intentional that's the thing i'll buy products and then i'm not like on a schedule with it so i need to be more intentional even with my my skincare i need to be more intentional with like if you're gonna spend money on products you need to use it so and like on a consistent basis so i just need to do that but just gonna go through oof, my hair with this. If I attempt to, huh, even if I attempt to quote unquote retwist it, y'all, my retwisting never works. It never works because I don't know what I'm doing, but I keep trying it anyway and I keep trying, but I, I don't think it does a thing but waste my time. But I might try to retwist it tonight for the sake of the video but and for the sake of entertaining myself but it doesn't stay it's like when i try to retwist it oh when i try to retwist it it does not stay and like it's like a waste so i don't know but um i don't know we'll see but yeah like even on this side you see and like i said i know it is something that runs in the family but hey we're gonna knock it out because i see it on other family members i don't know what it is if it's like hereditary or whatever but we're gonna do what we can it's like sometimes i get so lazy and like even when i had straight hair like growing up my mom would always tell me you're gonna have to make sure your hair is moisturized because she was like you have thick hair and it's very coarse and like if you don't and even hairstylists they would be like if you don't moisturize your hair like it's gonna fall out or it's gonna like you know it's not gonna be as healthy so i do have to make sure that i take care of it because um you know, God bless me with all this hair. So <laughs> I just sprayed my ear. Oh my gosh. I need to take care of it and be more like on a routine with 
just so many more things in life, whether it's skincare or whatever, like just so many areas in life I need to have better routine and consistency. It's something that my therapist like kept bringing up to me was like, um, she used to always say like, Brittany, do you need a routine? Like things just don't happen in people's lives. It's probably because they have a habit and a routine. And so I need to do better about just, you know, seeing it as like self-care and just, and I do when I go get my hair washed, I see that as self-care. But when I do it, when it's time for me to do it at home, it's like, ugh, a chore. Ugh, I don't want to do this. So I just need to do Ooh, a better job, but look at that. So we got it all moisturized and clean and it didn't take long because I almost didn't do it. But then I was like, do it for a video. But it's like, girl, no, you need your hair cleaned anyway. So whether I did it for the video and for the fact that it needed to be cleaned, it got done. Just leave it like this. Uh, my mom would be fussing at me right now because she'd be like, you're going to sleep on on wet hair but i guess i should have washed it earlier in the day so it had more time to dry but if anything tonight i might blow dry it so if i decide to blow dry it i'll come back on and show you guys but if not if not <laughs> if not we're just gonna let it just be and let it dry but this is my hair, untwisted, no hairstyle or anything. Just, this is it. So, thankful for it. And I have family members who have been through breast cancer, family members who have alopecia and things like that. And, you know, like I like to post hair pictures or whatever on social media like as inspiration for people. And like to normalize locks because I feel like I've worked in corporate America and in higher education in these like very traditional jobs per se where I think they would probably frown upon locks and natural hair and I can remember in undergrad anytime we had a speaker that was like a black woman which was all the time because it was HBCU but I would often ask them like what do you think views are in the workplace about natural hair and specifically locks because I was like concerned about how I was going to be perceived in the workplace with at the time I just had natural hair and they would always Always say like girl nobody even thinks about it nobody cares um they really care what you have to say and the fact that you can do your job and so I just kind of put it upon myself to continue to advocate for people with locks in the workplace especially in traditional places um but I'm so thankful that I've always worked places where it's been acceptable and even if people had a problem with it they never were bold enough to say anything to me about it to my face so I didn't know so I've always just been extremely blessed to not have to worry about it so very thankful for that and like I said I like to be an inspiration to other people but I'm becoming mindful that I'm not like all about my hair because it's just hair and the same way it's here today it could not be here and you know you just can't be too attached to any of these things because you just never know so if i decide to do something else with my hair i will come back on and show you guys and then if i don't we're just gonna let it be and let it dry and um yeah, you'll see in another video <laughs> how my hair is or whatever. But for now, it's clean and that's all that matters. And so I'm probably not going to do anything else to it tonight. I'm just going to let it let it dry. So so let's close out another Vlogtober video with an inspirational message. So give me a second to find one. I'll be right back. I have a sports bra on under this. This is all wet up, but I have a sports bra on under that. So hopefully I'm not showing too much goodies or anything or being a distraction but um remember that i said in these videos i want to end on a positive note and so um again it's from my devotional that my sister I'm trying to make sure i'm in frame that my sister gave me when i moved here so today's inspiration is called chosen 
and the scripture is Isaiah 50 and 4. It says, the Lord God gave me the ability to teach so that I know what to say to make the weak strong. Every morning he wakes me up. He teaches me to listen like a student. And so there's like a life application part or where they tell like a story um, and kind of make it applicable to your life. And it says, God has chosen you to be his messenger, the hands and feet and the mouthpiece, mouthpiece of his glory. He knows that you aren't perfect, but he is perfecting you every single moment through his grace and his redemptive love. Learn from him eagerly and serve him passionately. Your impact reaches further than you know. Your impact reaches further than you know. So I don't know if anybody is doubting themselves or doubting whether or not they have a gift or a calling or a purpose in life, but know that your impact reaches further than you know. And that's for anybody. Uh, people get caught up on gifts and purpose in the church or I'm not called to be a pastor. Or, I'm not called to be this. I'm not called to be that. But whatever, whether you believe or not, whatever it is, if you're alive in life, you are called to do something and to do something great. So remember that your impact reaches further than you know. I'm going to say it one more time. Your impact reaches further than you know. And at the end of each devotional, it ends with a prayer. And I have this one all circled and I got amen and stars and stuff, as y'all can see. Like if I really like it, I start circling and things and underlining. So this one says, Thank you, Jesus, for choosing me to impact the world for you. Thank you for the gifts I have through you. Help me to be faithful to teach others what I've learned from your love. So I come from a family of teachers and my mom's a preacher and I'm a teacher myself, an educator, uh, taught in higher education, same for my sister and my mom taught all k through 12 as well as cousins god sisters so many family members right but just because like i said you might not feel that you're called to teach each and every one of us has a platform and we have an ability to teach someone something so it's up to you to decide if you're going to teach someone something positive or negative so whatever or whomever that word is for i hope that you receive it and i hope that you know that you are chosen we are all chosen by god there is nobody any better or any perfect than anybody else we are all chosen we all have a purpose and a plan on our lives and it's just up to us to go out and impact the world so i hope that this video has been an inspiration to you and regardless if you have locks or not long hair short hair no hair it doesn't matter um hair is just hair and we keep it pushing but we have to make sure that we're good stewards over our bodies and that we are cleaning our hair and doing all the things and it's good self-care so i hope that if you've reached this far in the video you have subscribed you like the video you share it you leave a comment let me know in the comments down below if you like hair wash day if you think that um washing your hair is fun or if you just prefer to go to to the salon and let someone else do it let me know down below and let me know if you know that you are chosen and called in this world to make an impact so thank you guys for watching hopefully the lighting isn't too bad because the sun is going down but thank you guys for watching bye